Before we start, hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Nature is Phenomenal. Here is how to survive a bear attack. Brown bears. Brown bears, aka grizzly bears, are the most widespread bear species in the world found across much of Eurasia and northwestern North America. They're generally bigger and more aggressive than black bears, but color alone isn't a reliable way to tell them apart. Notice the bear's size, too, and look for a hump of muscles in its upper back, a trademark of brown bears. Also remember where you are. Grizzly country is expansive in Europe, Asia, and Canada, but in the U.S., it's limited to Alaska and parts of Idaho, Montana, Washington, and Wyoming. Conflicts with North American grizzly bears have been rising in the U.S. partly due to growing grizzly and human populations, and partly to food shortages that some scientists blame on global warming. But climate change may also expand grizzlies' range, possibly even into polar bear habitat. If you encounter a brown bear, keep these tips in mind. Always carry bear spray. This is a must-have in grizzly country, preferably in a holster or front pocket since you'll have just a few seconds to fire. Bear spray can actually be more useful than a gun for grizzlies, since one or two bullets may not stop a full-grown adult quickly enough. Don't be stealthy. If you think bears are in the area, talk, sing, or make other noises to let them know you're there too, without surprising them. If you see a bear that doesn't see you, don't disturb it. Don't be a tease. Unattended food and trash are surefire bear magnets, even if they're tied up. Try to produce minimal waste when camping or hiking and secure all food and trash carefully. Bear canisters are required in some parks. Bears can also be lured by dogs, so it may be wise to leave pets at home. Don't run. If you do meet a grizzly, stand tall, stay calm, and slowly reach for your bear spray. Don't worry if the bear stands up, that usually just means it's curious. Back away slowly if you can, still ready to spray. If the bear follows you, stop and stand your ground. Aim and spray. The best distance to spray a charging bear is about 40 to 50 feet. The idea is to create a wall of pepper spray between you and the bear. Hit the dirt. If the bear keeps charging, fall down and lace your fingers over the back of your neck to protect it. Guard your stomach by lying flat on the ground or by assuming a fetal position, with knees tucked under your chin. Don't move. Play dead. Even if the bear starts to attack, it's likely trying to neutralize you as a threat. And since you'll never outrun or overpower it, faking death is your best bet at this point. Even if it walks away, don't get up. Grizzlies are known to linger and make sure you're dead, so stay down for at least 20 minutes. Box its nose or eyes. This could feasibly thwart a grizzly attack, but only fight back as a last resort. Playing dead is the preferred strategy with grizzlies. If you can get free though, back away slowly. Still don't run. The bars. Oh, I think that means he wants in here. Black bears. The two major types of black bears, American and Asiatic, are separated by the Pacific Ocean, but they're still more closely related to each other than to the brown bears that share their habitats. The American black bear is North America's smallest and most common bear, with some 900,000 ranging from Alaska to the Atlantic, while Asiatic black bears are more threatened, both by deforestation and the controversial practice of bear farming. American black bears occasionally attack humans, but since they're smaller, faster, and better climbers than grizzlies, they'd usually rather flee than fight. Asiatic black bears, on the other hand, are more prone to attack people, a problem scientists say could worsen with climate change. He was most likely killed in a fight with another bear, possibly the big male. If you encounter a black bear, keep these tips in mind. Be bear aware. In general, take the same precautions you would in grizzly country. Carry bear spray in areas where black bears are active, 
Keep food and trash packed away, and make noise when walking through the woods so you don't surprise any hidden bears. Stand your ground. Black bears are less aggressive than grizzlies, so as long as you demonstrate yourself to be large and loud, they usually leave you alone. Shout, wave your arms, and create a commotion. Use sticks and other objects to make yourself look even bigger. And like with grizzlies, never run from a black bear. They often bluff charges, and the best strategy is to stay in place with bear spray ready to fire if the bear gets too close. Stay on the ground. Never climb a tree to escape a black bear. They're excellent climbers, and they tend to chase anything they think is running away, so there's a good chance it would trap you in the tree. Use bear spray. It can help, but it's not as critical as with grizzlies. The same principle applies, though. Try to spray when the bear is 40 to 50 feet away, creating a wall of pepper spray in front of you. Fight back. Unless you're physically unable, it's often better to defend yourself against a black bear than to curl up on the ground. Keep making noise and looking large throughout the encounter, but if you end up at close range, use any nearby object as a weapon to fend off the bear. If nothing useful is around, punch or kick the bear's nose. Do whatever is needed to scare it away, but focus on sensitive areas that are likely to get an immediate reaction. Try to create a space between you and the bear, but never run away. Make the bear do that. The salmon make short, exploratory leaps to see where the bears are. This brings us to the end of the video. Hit like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. With that, see you in the next video.